With the Point Fire that's burning right now in Sonoma County, this wildfire has grown to nearly 1,200 acres. It is 20% contained. It started yesterday in the area of Stewart's Point, uh, Skag Spring near Lake Sonoma. An evacuation order has been issued for north and east of Shemai's Road, just south of Stewart's Point, Skag Spring Road, and west of Dry Creek. Other areas are under evacuation warnings. An evacuation center has been set up at Laguna High School that's in Forestville. And so far, we have learned that no one has been hurt. But we want to get some details right now on what's happening because officials have confirmed that multiple buildings have been destroyed. The exact number has not been determined. Cal Fire did confirm with us there are 400 personnel now battling the fire and the agency has ordered the type 1 helicopters and the three fixed wings aircraft in order to fight this fire so joining us now to talk a little bit more about this is someone from Cal Fire this is Cal Fire assistant chief Mike Wink thank you for joining us Hey, good afternoon, Justine. Thanks for having us. So let's just start with are those the acreage and containment numbers still the same as they were yesterday? Uh, no, you have uh, the most current information of 1,190 acres at 20% contained released from our incident commander um, that's out there uh, on the scene. Uh, and they continue those efforts, uh, continue through the night and will continue throughout the day as we're currently under red flag conditions that you still just mentioned. Yeah, we'll talk about how windy it is in just a second, but have the evacuation warnings or... Um, advisories expanded at all I read some of the streets and the areas that need to be people need to be prepared for has that it gone up at all or, or decreased no, no change in the evacuation orders or warnings were in unified command with the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department um, they are the lead entity for any uh, of those evacuations uh, while we work collaboratively um, that's uh, our process. We work with them, and there's no change in those uh, warnings or orders as of right now. And what's being threatened right now? Where is this fire burning? We'll talk a little bit about the conditions of wh what's actually on the ground, what's on fire, but which direction is it going? What areas are threatened right now? So the fire is, um, is under a northwest wind influence, so it's spread is more of a south and southeastern portion. So if folks are familiar with the, the northern end of Sonoma County, so it would be west of the Highway 101 corridor, be west of West River, River Road and north of Mill Creek Road um, in those general areas. Uh, no change in those as far as uh, kind of being the boundaries that the fire is within. Um, but the winds predicted today coming from the northwest continue to want to spread the fire to the south and the southeast. Um, we have, like you mentioned, upwards of 400 um, firefighting personnel at the incident, uh, 50 engines, 10 bulldozers, 15 hand crews. Uh, our fixed wing air attack base is uh, within just a few miles of this incident. So we have a really quick turnaround on the fixed wing aircraft as well as our type one, our larger uh, helicopter and aerial firefighting uh, rotor wing with the larger capacities uh, are a quick turnaround with a lot of water sources in close proximity. So there are a lot of things in our favor a little bit of challenging conditions this afternoon, obviously. Yeah, the wind, certainly the red flag warning is a, a big challenge for you today. What about the actual terrain? Can you get crews there on the ground or does it feel like it has to be more of an aerial fight? No, we absolutely have crews on the ground. There are um, uh, accesses out there from the private property owners, ranchers, uh, county roads, uh, what we call one track and two track roads. So there's absolutely access to uh, all sides of the fire. The western side of the fire has the most challenging access, um, but we absolutely have uh, firefighters on the ground with those hand crews and the dozers. Uh, the aircraft uh, are there to they make a huge difference, mm -hmm. but we have to back them up with the resources on the ground. Mm -hmm. And. Is anything threatened? Are there wineries in this area? Are there homes, hotels, businesses? Uh, what What is the concern that could burn besides the actual terrain? You know, there are, uh, there are structures and different um, commercial, residential, uh, different outbuildings and things within the evacuation order, within the perimeter of the fire. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and within the warning zone. So there's a, a combination of all those things you mentioned. Um, we have resources out there um, as well as all of our cooperators and collaborators um, evaluating those values at risk and making sure we try to have the right resources in the right place. And what do you want those people who have homes or businesses in that area that are threatened, what do you want them to know? Uh, two things. One, make sure you listen to the orders and warnings put out by the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department. Um, they are, uh, they're very purposeful, they're vetted, and they're meant to be exactly what they are. Um, and then the second message is, you know, please make sure you have a plan. Go to CAL FIRE's website, readyforwildfire.org, for look for uh, lists and things you should do to prepare to make mm -hmm. sure you're ready in case of a wildfire. And really quickly here, we, any firefighters injured or, and do you know the cause of this fire? The cause is under investigation. We do have a report of one firefighter injured overnight. They are transported to a local hospital or are expected to uh, make full recovery. Well, that's good. Well, thank you so much, Chief. Um, appreciate your time being able to update us on this fire. We'll stay in touch so we can get the latest information out to people. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And businesses and residents in that area are feeling the effects of this fire. Many are following those evacuation orders. Others are planning uh, that because there's an evacuation warning that is uh, still in place for them. We're going to go now live to our reporter on the scene. That's Crown Forest Sarah Stinson with the latest details. How are people doing there? Justine, I mean, a lot of people are on edge around here. We're live off of Mill Creek Road in Healdsburg. Some people here are in an evacuation warning zone and some are not. We spoke with the man who lives in this home. He owns it and he actually rents it out on Airbnb. He stayed here the weekend with some friends to enjoy a jazz festival when they saw a huge plume of smoke. So very scary situation. And he said that some of his neighbors he talked with, they're very on edge because some of them survived the Wallbridge fire that happened in 2020 in this area. I remember covering that. So we have another fire four years later threatening some of the same exact homes. Now, uh, we do know that uh, this is the cusp of the evacuation warning area right where we're standing right now. The fire's burning about 10 miles north from here. Cal Fire says the wind calmed down overnight and this morning, but the problem is, is that that wind could very much pick up this afternoon uh, at least this morning it was calm they were able to gain a little more containment a little bit more control but this afternoon there are some concerns that the wind will pick up it's a very much wind driven fire so it's important for people who live in this area of sonoma county to be prepared the fire is burning near many many vineyards we caught up with a man who evacuated yesterday as well as another man who evacuated not only himself but his cattle too I was close. Um, I didn't see any flames, but I saw obviously intense smoke. I wanted to know if I still had a home. And you do. Because I, I couldn't really tell from the maps. So, yeah, and good news. I have a home. We got cows that are out on pasture on West Dry Creek. Yesterday we saw a few spot fires start about half a mile, three quarters away uh, from our pasture there. And so we were going and grabbing the cows off of there so that way we can get them to a safer location. So yeah, thankfully that man has a home. That guy got his cattle out. It's very scary for people in this area. I mean, yesterday the the flames picked up and it happened quickly. It grew quickly. Now there is an evacuation center at Laguna High School. We stopped by there, spoke with some of the volunteers, some of the county workers. They said that no one had stopped by this morning. So if you are evacuated or you're in evacuation warning and you need more information, more services, they've got a lot there for you. So stop by and they will help you out. But in the meantime, speaking with people who live in this area, as that man said earlier, I mean, they're looking at the map, they're listening to Cal Fire, the news, and just hoping that the fire doesn't go over the ridge and travel south, even closer to where these homes are located. For now, I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in Healdsburg, Cron 4 News.